Do you dislike having to crank up the volume for one application on Android, only to have to go through the process of setting the volume to a different level when you switch over to another app? Or maybe there's an app like TikTok that automatically plays a video when you launch it, and you find yourself being blasted with its audio because you had the volume turned up when you were using a different application. These are just some of the pain points that many of us are dealing with when using Android on a day-to-day -day basis. But thankfully, there's a solution to this, and I can show you how to set individual volume levels for each of the applications that you currently have installed. This process does not require root access, and it's actually really easy to configure once you have it set up and running properly. We're going to be using a special application to control these individual volume levels. This app does require you to have Shizuku installed and its service running in the background. If you're not familiar with what Shizuku is or how to set it up properly, then I'll be sure to link to a dedicated guide that I have here on the channel. That way, anyone who needs help can learn exactly what is required, and this will help to prevent the video from being longer than it needs to be. After you see the Shizuku service is up and running, the next thing that you need to do is install an application called Volume Manager. This application is free and open source, so you can download it directly from the GitHub project page here. But I'll also have a mirror linked down below so that you can make sure the same version you download will be the same version that I'm showing you here in this video. After you have installed the Volume Manager application, go ahead and launch it, and you will be told that Shizuku is ready. So tap on the blue Request Permission button, and then you'll see a prompt appear asking if you want to grant this app access to the Shizuku service. Once that access has been granted, Volume Manager will attempt to grant the accessibility permissions that it needs. So if that goes smoothly, you won't even notice anything. And you'll just see the note here saying that the accessibility service is enabled. And you're going to see some volume bars listed here. This is one of the places that you can go to adjust the individual volume levels for the apps that you have installed but this app needs to know which apps that you have installed are actually media players or just apps in general that can play an audio track. So you probably won't see your favorite music player listed here from the get-go. Instead, you'll want to launch the application, maybe even begin playing some audio through it so that the volume manager app is able to pick up on its capabilities. So I could give the YouTube Music application a more consistent level since I only open it to listen to music, while I can then lower the YouTube app volume level to something that is more quiet. That way I'm not blasting my speakers just for opening a link to YouTube. And I suspect a lot of you will enjoy this for keeping the volume level of your TikTok application different than what your current music player is set to. You would think that after the days of MySpace, no one would want to automatically begin playing audio just for opening an app or a website but there are some developers who either do not remember those times or just do not care. There are tons of use cases 
for individual sound levels with the apps and games that you have installed. I know there is zero chance that I will ever want to hear the music of various casual mobile games that I play, but there are some apps that I trust to the point where I need that volume cranked up as high as possible. Most Android devices do not allow you to adjust things in such a dynamic and granular way, but this is the beauty of Android as a whole. So even though it's not set up in this way, there are some clever developers out there who have figured out a workaround like this. And while you may end up noticing a bit of audio latency when using an app like this and adjusting the audio levels, I suspect it will be okay for most people. As long as you aren't trying to use a feature like this while you're making music or editing some videos together and need to dynamically adjust those volume levels on the fly. And that's a major strength of Shizuku. These apps are not like root mods and they are only hooking into the Android operating system in a way that will not change the file system, typically referred to as systemless. So I want to thank each and every one of you who has stuck with me to the end of this guide. It really means a lot to see so many of you watching to 100% completion these days. I would love to hear how you are all using a feature like this in your day-to-day -day lives. And please, do not forget to give this video a like while also subscribing to the channel for more Shizuku tips like this.